Hey guys, it's Colin from CC Mega Productions, and today I got a pretty sweet tutorial for all you guys. And it's in Adobe After Effects, and we're going to be doing a blood hit. And what's cool about this is I have some stock footage I'm giving away. And here I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, it'll be a link in the description. It's all pre keyed, it's pretty sweet. Most of you guys know about my other video, which has a side miss shot. This is just one front miss shot. And as you can see, it looks pretty sweet. It has some nice al alpha channels, so don't have to worry about keying it out. And yeah, so let's get started. So I'm gonna go into my oops, sorry. I'm gonna go into my composition and I'll pre-render and let you guys see what we're gonna be doing. Alright, pretty sweet. As you can see when I scrub through here, Charlie's picking up his gun, shoots, blood, mist, goes everywhere. Alright, so what we're going to do is delete all that. And it's always fun to do. And start fresh. So what we're going to do is what, what, what I already did is I created a null object and I tracked the scene with a tracker inside AE. And if you don't know how to do this, you can go on to Freddy W's channel and check out, I don't, I'm not sure what day it is, but one of his days of VFX Miss, he has a pretty sweet tutorial on how to use the tracker inside of After Effects. So as you can see, the null moves along with the scene, gives the motion, and so anything now that you parent to this null right here, right here, you can uh, give it the motion that you want. So... What, I want, what I'm going to do is I'm going to import the first blood hit. And I'm pretty sure I have a couple frames here where it does. All right, yeah. So I'm going to hold down W for the rotation tool. Rotate it a little bit. Hold down Shift um, and scale up to keep the proportional, to keep the proportions the same. I want it decently big. And that looks pretty good. But as you can see, it kind of floats off into space like it's not really a part of the environment. So what you want to do is you want to grab the parenting tool right here and drag it over to the null one. Or you can just go into this drop down menu and click null one. It's all the same, so it doesn't really matter. Whatever you like best. And now you can see. Oh, sorry. Got to move this over. Sometimes it does that. All right. So now you can see when the camera moves, it moves along with the scene. And it looks pretty good. So now to make it better, what I'm going to do is I'm going to import my second miss shot, which is a side one that I gave away in my free pre-key blood effects video, which you guys can head on over to my channel and check out. It's pretty sweet. All right, so right here, we're, first we're going to want to put the blood hit underneath the first blood hit that we imported, the front shot, and we're going to want to hold W again for the rotation tool and just move it over right that looks good what you can do is you can shut off this layer by clicking the eyeball over here on the far left side of your screen and then you can just position it to where it looks like it would have been so you don't have to worry about where it is and then click the eyeball again and you can see that right there and now we're going to parent this uh, this one right here to the null as well so it follows along with the scene. So it looks pretty nice. I'm going to go ahead and move this over so it kind of blends a little bit more. Alright, so you can see it looks pretty good, but there's something missing. And the thing that's missing is... Here, I'll move this over, sorry. The thing that's missing is this blood shot's a little too heavy. Um, so what I'm going to do is go over to your effects and presets tab, type in tint, and then bring over your tint to the blood side miss shot. And what you want to do is you want to drag to where the front miss shot is, and you want to go into the map to white section of the tint, and just bring it over a little bit and try and match it with the original color of your front miss shot. So 
That looks pretty good. Matches your environment pretty well. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. There's going to be a lot more um, on our second channel, which we just opened. And now all you have to do is add your sound effects, and you are good to go. So don't forget, there's a link in the description for this awesome pre keyed blood effect. And there's also, I'll put the other link in the description for my other video, free pre keyed blood effects for the side miss shot. And hope you guys learned something. I'll talk to you later. Um, bye.